If you see the title here, determine the value of sine, cosine, and tangent of 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree without using calculator. So means that you can use calculator. So now I will teach you how to find the value for sine 30, cos 30, tangent 30, and so on without using calculator. So before that, here you should uh, understand here there are the first diagram here we use um, right angle, sorry, equilateral triangle. Why we use equilateral triangle? Because equilateral triangle means all of the angle are same, which is 60. 60 degree. So that's why here we have 60 degree, 60 degree and 60 degree. From here, we can construct um, another triangle. Okay, let's say from the first triangle right now, I take out half of it. Of it. Okay, jaga ambil sah hanya sebahagian saja. Okay, I take out this one and become the second triangle. Why I take out like that? Because I want to have 30 degree. Okay, I want to have 30 degree ok so before that before we go further why we use here the length of every side 2, 2 and 2 ok yang tu kita ambil sebagai nilai yang paling kecil boleh jadikan ok contohlah panjang CB ni 2 uh, panjang AC pun 2 panjang AB pun 2 so kalau kita belah 2 maka dia akan dapatlah 1 dengan satu. So sekarang ni kita anggap yang tu yang baru eh Biarlah cikgu bagi nama B pun Okay satu So here Okay here you see This length we already know which is The length of CB for the second triangle 1 The length of CA 2 Means that how to find the length of AB You should use Pythagoras theorem So how to use Pythagoras theorem 2 square Minus 1 square So if you forgot I can write here A, B A, B square equal to A, C square which is 2 square Because we already know the hypotenuse So we need to subtract okay? Minus 1 square So 2 square equal to 4 4 minus 1 3 So A, B equal to square root of That's why we got the value AB equal to square root of 3 Okay next The third triangle Okay the third triangle uh, Another triangle okay Because here we want to use the angle for 45 degree Okay If you see the third triangle This is we call as isosceles Triangle Segi tiga sama kaki Sebab tu sudut dekat ACB 45 CAB also 45 And again We use The smallest value possible The Nilai yang paling kecil yang boleh kita, kita gunakan Sebab tu dia ambil satu Satu, satu So sama juga Nak cari panjang AC Guna Pythagoras theorem One square plus one square Two So square root of Two Okay So ada tiga tu So after you got all of the value Then you can fill in the table So we know Sin theta equal to Sin theta equal to Opposite over Hypotenuse Cos theta equal to Adjacent over hypotenuse And tangent theta equal to Opposite over adjacent So to fill in the first column 30 degree We should see which triangle Second triangle And as I said to you before Opposite and adjacent May be different Depend on the angle that we refer Okay, uh, sudut uh, Sorry Sisi bertentangan dan sisi bersebelahan Berjadi berbeza bergantung kepada sudut mana yang kita tengok Okay, sekarang ni kita nak buat 30 darjah So, 30 degree is here So, means that where, what is your opposite? BC which is 1 1 is your opposite Adjacent? Square root of? 3 Okay, now fill in the table So, Sin theta equal to opposite of hypotenuse Which is 1 over Opposite of hypotenuse 1 over 2 Cos theta eh, Cos 30 degree Adjacent Which is Square root of 3 Hypotenuse 2 Tangent theta 
1 over square root of 3 Okay Second 60 Okay now We use different opposite and adjacent Because the angle that we refer is 60 So opposite Okay so now Square root of 3 is your opposite And 1 is your Adjacent Okay now Square root uh, Sin 60 Opposite which is square root of 3 over 2 Square root of 3 over 2 Hypotenuse Cos 60 1 over 2 Tangent 60 Okay square root of 3 over 1 We can write as square root of 3 Okay Okay next The angle for 45 degrees So you need to use the last triangle Which is 45 okay so for this one there are no problem because your opposite and your adjacent are the same values opposite equal to 1 adjacent equal to 1 okay now sign 45 1 over okay 1 over square root of 2 and then cos 45 1 over square root of 2 Tangent 45 1 over 1 which is 1 Okay so now we already fill in the table So this table you should remember But not all of the value you remember Tak perlu ingat semua nilai Awak hanya perlu ingat dua saja. yang penting Bila awak ingat dua ni Awak boleh bina sendiri triangle 